Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of DIY Metal Buildings. If you're putting your own building together, stay tuned. Okay, this episode is all about cross braces. You've put your frame up and you're getting ready to put all your cross braces in and um, all of a sudden you discover, oh, you've got to punch holes through maybe the end wall or you got fl flush girt condition on your metal building and you've never done this before, of course, because you're doing it yourself and it's not real, real clear on the drawings. Most of the drawings will show the detail. They'll show you the uh, application where it goes through the hillside washer and so forth but it doesn't really give you all the details of how it should be done so we're going to take a look at that and I'll explain a few things that may not be clear on your drawings so number one okay so we have the hillside washer this is the uh, first thing that you have to know is if you look at this there's a little lip on there and that lip has to either face down or face up depending on where you're putting it on the cross brace in the uh, column so as a rule of thumb I always say have that little lip pointing towards the center of the X so if you're down at the bottom it's this way and if you're up at the top it's this way facing down okay. real quick guys I'm gonna back up a little bit just in case you're looking at this video and you haven't started putting your building together and you start putting up your columns. Some people worry about getting that column uh, absolutely plumb when they first uh, stand it, and they'll spend a lot of time shimming it and and you know tightening it down and trying to get it to stay absolutely plumb. Now the the deal is is if your concrete is square and your anchor bolts are in their uh, proper location within within about an eighth of an inch, because there is a little bit of slack on the holes on the uh, base plates you got a little bit of forgiveness there but when you get all your iron together you plumb one wall it plumbs all the columns on that particular wall whether it be an end wall or a side wall because if the, if the uh, concrete is correct they will all move together so don't waste your time trying to plumb each and every column one at a time. That was just a little side tip that I thought I would throw in there just in case you're not to this point of where, what this video is all about. All right, back to what we were talking about. Now tip two, we're going to move on to uh, brace rods that actually go through the girts. And this is what I'm talking about right here. You see how we actually had to cut a hole. Now. You say to yourself, how in the world do you know where these locate? Well, it's pretty simple, and I'll show you in some pictures here. I actually pull a string line with a bungee cord attached to it from hole to hole on the outside or the inside of the girts, depending on the offset of the hole at the column. Then I mark them. Okay, so what I do is I drill right where the string line is. That would be the center right here. And I go two inches over here, two inches there. And also what's important is the distance from the edge to the center of the hole, which you want it offset just like your brace rod hole. See how your brace rod hole is offset? It's not in the middle, it's over here. So you want that to do the same thing or be offset the same. So this allows for when the brace rod is going through that you have leeway. So like if you have to pull the building a little bit, what happens is sometimes it'll go over this way or sometimes it'll go over that way. And it also allows you for a little bit of angle too. And that's what it looks like when it's finished. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.